Hello, I'm Tony Afuso, the Chairman and CEO of Siemens PLM Software. What you're about to see is an exciting breakthrough in digital product development that will have a far-reaching impact on the entire process of bringing products to market. I've been in the PLM industry for many years, and I've witnessed several major shifts in technology. And I have to say that we're now at the doorstep of the next big shift. But this one is different because it has the impact beyond traditional boundaries of PLM. This breakthrough is being embraced throughout Siemens as an invaluable innovation that will have tremendous impact on all aspects of product creation and even the realm of production automation. And now to give you his perspective on this exciting development, I'd like to introduce Helmut Ludwig, the president of Siemens PLM Software. Welcome, Helmut. Thanks, Tony. This certainly is an important breakthrough in keeping with the Siemens tradition of innovation. For 160 years, Siemens has been answering the most important questions facing our world, from lighting the darkness with the first street lights to identifying diseases before they even strike. Siemens has consistently delivered breakthroughs to solve the toughest problems. Today, Siemens has answered one of the important questions leading manufacturing companies are facing how to deliver breakthrough innovations to a world that keeps moving faster and faster. A year ago, when Siemens announced the acquisition of UGS, we began to integrate UGS PLM software with Siemens Industrial Automation. Our vision was to unify the product and production life cycles, from the spark of an idea to the delivery of the product, thus uniting physical and virtual worlds like never before. One thing has become increasingly clear. The role of 3D design is vital. The digital product model is the key to driving efficiency in every phase of the product and production life cycles. It's a vehicle to which ideas are brought to life and tested for planning and executing manufacturing and for creating closed loop continuous improvements. At Siemens, we realize how important digital product development is to delivering better innovations faster. As a leading global manufacturer ourselves, we face the same challenges as our customers. That's why we were so excited when we discovered during the process of acquiring UGS that the engineers were working on a technology which would fundamentally change the way manufacturers design products. So we decided to accelerate it to market. I'm happy to introduce Synchronous Technology, a breakthrough in design that will help companies answer the challenge of delivering innovations faster than ever before. Now I'm sure you'd like to know what Synchronous Technology is all about. For this, I'm happy to introduce our Executive Vice President of Products, Chuck Grinstead. This is truly a major advancement in the way products will be designed. The force behind synchronous technology is the same principle that's been guiding Siemens for 160 years. To understand the significance, it's important to kind of really walk through the history of computer-aided design, see how it's evolved. In the early years, designers built models directly with geometry, curves, surfaces, and dimensioned those into drawings. The geometry didn't include much context and certainly no intelligence. So working with these models was tedious, time-consuming, and especially when you tried to make a change, a real bother. Solid modeling, feature-based modeling, automated some of the repetitive tasks of these first-generation systems. And of course, this automation brought forth a new wave of innovation, working with parameterized construction history. The construction history approach gave designers the power to parametrically modify the construction recipe of a model so you could build logic for anticipated change. The problem with construction history-based systems comes when that change wasn't or couldn't be anticipated. Complicated histories can be difficult to manipulate, really by even the author, but especially by somebody other than that author. In recent years, progress has been made in reducing the cost and complexity of working with parametric models. However, there's some significant limits to what one can do. One limitation is order dependence. Another is computational overhead. This is what brings us to the next breakthrough in digital product development. Engineers at Siemens PLM Software have created a new way to interact efficiently, intuitively, and directly with parametric history-based models without being confined to the way the model was originally constructed. That's the breakthrough. 
This new approach to modeling instantaneously synchronizes engineering relationships, features, parameters in a much more direct, interactive paradigm. Synchronous technology doesn't require you to memorize the idiosyncrasies of a complex CAD system. It doesn't require you to be a programmer. Synchronous technology gives you direct control of your model, immediate feedback. Whether you're a designer, engineer, supplier, or anyone involved in the product development process, you'll benefit from this breakthrough in speed and simplicity. Finally, there's an answer to the tough questions users have been asking. How can I capture ideas as soon as I think them? With synchronous technology, you can create designs in a natural way. There's no need to pre-plan designs or spend time worrying about the model's future use. The result? Up to 100 times faster design experience for many activities. Here we are going to create a new gripper for our robot. Starting with sketches to define the shape of the part, watch as these 2D elements quickly become a 3D model. A key to design productivity is to reduce the number of direct commands. The fewer the steps, the faster the process. Commands are inferred based on cursor position and geometric intent. Synchronous technology allows relationships to be applied to the model at any time and in any order. Adding driving dimensions directly to the 3D model is the easiest way to establish control and may be retained. Blends can be added with a live preview to help ensure the correct sizes and edges are captured. As we add a stiffening rib, notice the tangent relationship applied to the blend. This intent is automatically maintained in the 3D model. Next, we place the gripper into the assembly and make final design adjustments in the context of the assembly. With the iterative creation process, a flexible design system is a must. Changing the thickness of the gripper is a simple grab and go. Attempts to make these changes using traditional CAD technology would require remodeling. Synchronous technology breaks through the architectural barrier inherent in a history-based modeling system. Its ability to recognize current geometry conditions and localized dependencies allows synchronous technology to solve for model edits without the full construction history replay from the point of edit. Depending on model complexity and how far back in the history the edit occurs, users will see dramatic performance gains. A 100 times or more speed improvement is a conservative estimate. How can I change my design as fast as I change my mind? With synchronous technology, design reuse doesn't have to mean remodeling. Anyone can change any model, regardless of who created the original, without having to unravel and debug how it was built. The result? Engineering change orders in seconds that would have taken hours. In this gas turbine assembly, we have been asked to make a number of changes to the main shaft. In conventional history-based models, this would require an understanding of the construction approach. Synchronous technology removes the need to understand the way a part was designed. Simply selecting what needs to change and to change it, rotating with simple pick and drag options, making model changes fast and visual. More control over the behavior of the model can be achieved by adding 3D dimensions. Real-time dynamic feedback ensures that we get exactly the change we want while making sure that all the necessary geometry is updating 